Welcome to the channel everybody and in today's video we will be discussing tip number three. It's your recycling table. You need to use your recycling table. That means recycle everything that you pick up to get those resources and you're like oh man that's such a process. It is a process but when you get to late game you'll never have to worry about it again because you're just not going to be looting as much you're still going to loot but not as much as you used to so when you're out in the plundra your main objective is to go out there with minimum minimum inventory that means you run out there with your one weapon a baseball bat your ammo a couple med kits a couple of adrenaline shots and call it quits on your inventory so that way you have 80 pounds of free inventory space and voila, you are able to loot 80 pounds off of the enemies in the game. Then you go to your recycling table, you recycle, and rinse and repeat. And you can use those items to craft what you're going to be using in the game. And those three other characters that we discussed in tip number two, you are just stockpiling those three other characters as well. It is the best advice in the game. Yes, it's grindy, but who cares? It's part of the game. You go grind it, you do it, you play it, you, you build your resistance up. Because your overall goal is not to worry about the grind in endgame. You don't want to have to be like, oh, okay, we got to go do this, this, and this, but I need more ammo for it. No, you already want to have that taken care of. I play with three weapons, 7.62. Any type of weapon that uses the 7.62, I use. I use the RPG because I can store that ammo. I use the 50 BMG because I can store that ammo. Those are the only types of weapons I will use in the game because I store that ammo. The rest of that ammo I don't even use, I don't even touch because I can't store that ammo. I should be able to store that ammo. The devs should have thought of that, but they didn't or they did and I don't know what happened. But just storing only 7.62 rounds in the pill boxes, yeah, it is what it is. So I use those types of weapons. I don't care about the 9mm. I, I can't stockpile that. So I'm always going to have to be crafting that ammo, right? But for 7.62, when I go out there and I kill the robots, I can pick that ammo up, carry 8,000 rounds of it come back to a storage base and drop it in my pill boxes. Put in 4,000, go back out there with 4,000, rinse and repeat. And before you know it, I have a base filled with 7.62 rounds that I'll never have to farm for again because I've got, you know, 75,000. Took a little bit of time, but you get it. Especially when you put um, the skill on, you know, more, more ammo while you're salvaging. That's pretty decent to get from, you know, three to four to 600 rounds up to 800, 1,000 rounds. No, it doesn't take long to accumulate 50,000 rounds of ammunition. It doesn't take long at all because I'm also recycling all the 2.70, the 12 gauge, the 9 millimeter. I'm recycling everything and I'm just using those materials to craft even more 7.62. Med kits, I recycle everything, and I then I craft my advanced med kits. You know, so just recycle the companion, right? I do not use the companion. The companion is a nightmare for me. First, when I have to revive it, that's fine, but then I have to travel to another location to put his armor back on. I'm not doing that. That is just too time consuming and I want to get the most out of this game by using my time wisely. So what is the point of me having to revive my dog and not replace his armor right there on the spot and then have to drop a field radio to go to another area to put his armor on then go reuse the, the field radio. So now I'm wasting a field radio or if I don't have a field radio, I'm gonna have to waste some of my resources to craft field radios. It just, I'm not doing it. 
So I use my companion for storage space. So when, I'm, so when I'm out there looting, I just transfer 30 pounds over to my dog. So now I've got an extra 30 pounds to go loot and recycle. I don't need my dog out there running around blasting and reviving them all the time. I'm just not going to do it. I'll do all the work myself and I'll just use my companion for the storage space. There we go. Because I'm definitely not going to be spawning fast traveling all over the map just to replace the armor on him. I should be able to do that when I revive him. Revive him, put, his, put new armor on him. Right there. I'm not going to be fast traveling. I'm not going to be using resources to do that. Making more field radios, crafting more field radios, looting those items just to craft field radios. And you can use a lot of field radios in one go of the game. And if you don't have a surplus of them, well then what's going to happen? You're going to have to craft them. You're just not going to do that in any way, shape, or form. Anyways, guys, you're probably wondering what I'm doing. And I am testing out the visibility outfit, seeing if it works. So we're going to end this video because I have a, another video I have to upload. And... I hope this really helped you. I need you to understand to use your recycling table and use it wisely and use it for everything. And by using it wisely, you're going to use it all the time. So that way you're not missing out on those resources that you could be getting for absolutely already killing the machines and getting those items. Well, GG, everybody. Have a good day, and I will catch you in the next one.